BB TV, huge superheroes, but also Pym Particles here at the Pym Test Kitchen. And I am so excited because there are so many cool things to see in here. I think it's actually one of the main reasons to visit Avengers Campus, of course with the superheroes. But what a cool story behind this. That's right, you're gonna see Ant-Man and Wasp's giant cell phones that you can mobile order and see the text from all the superheroes. We're gonna show you that. As well as incredible foods, incredible giant foods, incredible tiny foods, and many more fun things here at Pim's Test Kitchen. Are you ready for possibly the craziest dining experience we've ever had? If so, bibbity bop that like button and make sure to subscribe for never a dull moment in the most magical and happiest places on earth. As well as I think the most superhero places on earth here on LBB TV. I'm Maria and I have Chris with me. We are gonna take you on a crazy fun food adventure. As you first walk into Avengers Campus, there is even a giant beer can here in Pim's Test Kitchen where you can mobile order some drinks. Look, I see, oh, I see Loki up there checking stuff out. I think he wants a drink. But check out all the amazing things you can try. Marshmallow Milk Sour, Cali Squeeze, the hard seltzer. And I love that they're in giant forks and knives and popsicle sticks. And look who's with me. My favorite superhero, Chris. And one of my favorite things too about this is bring your food outside after you mobile order and you'll be able to watch some of the shows at the same time. It's a two for one. Now before we walk in, check this out. This is an actual cell phone from the Wasp. Peter, before you get mad, I'm sending more spider bots. Also, can I get a pretzel? This is uh, the Wasp's cell phone. As you can tell, she has full battery, but also bad, bad service. <laughs> oh, and please don't tell Mr. Stark, says Peter. So you can actually stand here and watch text messages come through from your favorite superheroes. How cool is that? Oh, Peter Parker says, sorry for the text. It's okay, Peter Parker. But again, check out the mobile orders. Uh, there are awesome cell phones with awesome messages like this one. Here we are entering Pim's Test Kitchen. Now, what makes this restaurant, again, special and why Disney is so special is the fact that you have stories behind the restaurant. This isn't just like, oh, this is cool, things are big, things are small, things grow, things become giant. The story behind it is that Scott's daughter, Ant-Man's daughter, thought, you know what, we can make things big and large, why can't we do that with food to help solve the world's food crisis? Why can't we also help reduce waste by making things smaller? So of course, you know, waste is a huge issue in the world and of course food scarcity. So by shrinking down waste and waste management, helping the environment, and while making food bigger, also helping the food scarcity. See, huge discovery, tiny heroes, and they talk about how little girl, big idea. So again, just goes to show you that even the tiniest of people can come up with ideas that can change the planet. And again, I love the story behind the restaurant. It's not just a uh, fun food place with crazy foods. It has an awesome storyline with a great message. Look at the checkout counter. Chris, those are batteries. Those are batteries. How cool is that? And of course, the food is crazy and delicious. One of my favorite things Chris noticed is this Pim Particle Accelerator. Oh, it's acted into a giant pretzel. So look, you can see the pretzels coming out normal size. And then bam, it's a giant one. So again, oh, let's see. Chris, take a guess, what's it gonna be? Oh. Next one, so we got a regular size. Okay, we'll go giant in. one, giant one. I'm going small. Okay, let's see. Chris is thinking it's gonna be a tiny one. Oh, it's, oh, it's a tiny one. Look, and it comes out. And it comes out tiny. That's a tiny one. How cool is that? Tiny. <laughs> that's, a, that's amazing. So we are picking up our food here at Pim's Test Kitchen. We ordered literally everything on the is this menu. All mine? Okay. Wow. We ordered so much that they actually forgot an item. I love that it's on graph paper. Do you remember graph paper? I do. That's crazy. So we have here quite the smorgasbord. We have a teeny pimini, the celestial sized candy bar. The choco smash. So that is a Caesar salad with a colossal crouton garlic and parmesan crisps. That looks amazing. Again, with graph paper. And then we have the not so little chicken sandwich. 
serve with crispy potato rice. I love how it's on a tiny little baby burger. Little baby bun. How cute is that? And then, Chris, what's this one? That is the pimini sandwich. The pimini. The pimini sandwich. So an emphasis on P-Y-M. Yes, P-Y-M. So it's pimini. salami, uh, rosemary ham, provolone. Sundry tomato, toasted focaccia, marinara dipping sauce. Looks good. And there's a version of this that serves like 10 people. It's $100. It's $100. And then there's the PB3. Get it? PB, PB3 Superb Sandwich. It has a micro banana smoothie next to it. Crispy potato bites. And inside is candy bacon and bananas inside the PB&J. How good does that look? Five ounce pretzel top with corn, three ways. Cilantro sprigs, radishes, and flavored cream. Wow, Chris, that looks really good actually. It does. Well, I'm most excited about this one. Chris, what are you most excited about? The chicken sandwich. And then I'm excited about the root beer float, which is actually a beer float with ice cream and marshmallows. Chris, what's the other ones here? So the other thing we got, we got the particle fizz, and we also got the honey fusion, which is a gin and whiskey with gin, honey. Gin and whiskey with honey. This is a particle fizz with watermelon uh, seltzer and boba balls. Particle fizz with watermelon, boba balls, honey and gin, and then this looks amazing. The root beer float that's actually beer. Beer. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Ooh, so Chris, what are you trying right now? This is the particle fizz, which and is like watermelon seltzer with watermelon boba balls. Now, what do you think out of all the drinks you've tried? I just tried this and it's delicious. It is basically, like I said, ice cream with marshmallows, a chocolate stout. The, the beer is so good, I got a second one. My, my favorite is the honey, the honey fusion. I think it tastes like if you were sick and what you need a drink. Oh, that's so good. It's honey and like it's so lavender. Delicious. You like it? It's so good. It tastes like, you know, when you need tea and chamomile after being sick. That is delicious. I could drink a 20 of these. And there's gin in there also, there's right? Gin and, and whiskey and bourbon. Wow, so it's strong, but tastes like medicine to me. But Chris likes it. And it even comes with a honeycomb stir. And then we started digging in to hear the Caesar salad with the giant crouton. Oh. Oh, there, there you, there you go. That's how, that's, that's how you do. That's how an Avenger eats a. That's how you eat it. A giant Caesar wedge. <laughs> Amazing. And I love the crouton. It's like a, basically a giant piece of toast. Now, Chris, is it really good? Okay, based on his, like, yes. Now, I had a bite of the very uh, big but small fried chicken sandwich. And I love the little, like, top hat bun. So, it makes you feel like, oh, look. Look how cute. Look how much it grew. <laughs> it's like a slider that went wrong. <laughs> It's basically like a giant chicken finger. This was probably the most unique thing we've actually had yet. It is a different pretzel than the giant one you've seen inside or out here that is, it's famous for. It actually has three different types of corn on it and popcorn, as you can see. So when I say it has three different types of corn, it literally has three different types of corn. Popcorn, uh, corn sauce, corn this, corn that and a, uh, a cream, an avocado cream on it that is very, very good. As you can tell, Chris is digging, digging in. in. I'm digging into it, guys. And then over here, the PB&J sandwich, I thought was good. I like the idea of it. I love the idea of bacon. I love the idea of peanut butter. Um, I would have liked more jelly and peanut butter than just, I think it's more bacon and it's more bananas in there. And it comes with a shot of banana smoothie. Uh, I thought it was good. If you want something just simple, that's the route to go. And then the pimini sandwich. Chris, you took a bite of that. I can't eat that. What do you think? I just ate a really bad pepper. What happened? In, 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 the, in, the, in the pretzel? In the pretzel. Wow, that is spicy. Uh oh. You're turning red. I need some ice cream. How good is that though? Oh, that's really good. I know. Wow. That pepper really got me. Okay, so good to know that pepper is packed with a not ant sized punch, An ant -size but a big like a size. Fire, a fire, a fire, fire ant. ant. It's a fire ant. We just ate fire ants. Fire ants. <laughs> and then. The panini, it's almost gone. A panini, get it? Like instead of a panini. And 
What did you think of it? That's a good sandwich. Comment below what is your favorite of the dishes you would try out of all of these and you'll be entered to win a shirt here at Shop LBB. We did take a bite already of the chocolate bar. Each of us took a end, kind of like uh, Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp. It is giant, but I have to say it's almost like a uh, Three Musketeer meets Snickers. It is definitely family size sharing with a nougat and a caramel, um, but it's super soft and actually it doesn't taste like a candy bar. It tastes like a cake meets um, a really fancy nougat and a flourless cake. Really good. Shockingly, shockingly good. Chocolate, shockingly good. Is literally eating all of Pim's kitchen. There will no longer be a kitchen here. It'll just be Pim. I was hungry. It'll just be Pim. Avengers Campus has that, that way about it. And I love again, my secret recipe from Scott. 7618. Now every vlog we give away a shirt from shoplbb.com. Like the Doctor Strange one I'm wearing right now. Let's give away a Marvel shirt to somebody who in the comments lets us know who is your favorite superhero and what are you most excited to see from Avengers Campus. And make sure again to subscribe because there are so many exciting things to come for weeks from here. And again, the most magical and strongest places on earth. And a big thank you to Magical Vacation Planner, an amazing company, a travel agency that I am obsessed with, who has helped us come up with these amazing ideas of things to do on our trip to Disneyland. I've never been to Disneyland before, so this is actually a big deal. I didn't know what to expect, how to do it, and they really helped you with everything from hotels, restaurants, ideas of fun things to do, and much more. They truly are the MVP when it comes to travel. Magical Vacation Planner, get it? Check out the link in the bio so you can find out all about them. We can't thank them enough. They truly went above and beyond helping us figure this out, but they do it for everybody. So again, if you need a travel agency, this is the one. Whether it's Disney or not, they know how to do it. That was amazing. Chris, what was your favorite? Uh, the PB&J sandwich with bacon. Now, I, I liked uh, the fact that, again, everything was kind of an experience to the drinks. My favorite was actually the ice cream root beer. The ice cream root beer. Uh, beer. beer. The real beer. No, ice cream beer, beer. That was really cool. And the beer of course, flute. I like the chocolate bar. Who doesn't like chocolate? It was neat while we were sitting outside superheroes and walking around. Make sure to check out all of our other social media in the description uh, below. So you can see Chris meet Thor. I'm at Thor. He actually said uh, that, I was, he, that you were bigger than him. I was bigger than him. I was bigger than Thor. Yeah, and he, and goes, he admitted and it. And he goes, I know. No, he, Thor said you're bigger than him. Yes. And Chris goes, I know. I know. And again, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. But also the notifications bell. Because it's been a wild time in Disney and there's much more fun things to come. It's been crazy. Yes. Now here on our channel we never say goodbye because when there's magic or superheroes the fun never ends. We want to say see you real soon. I'm trying to think Chris, are there any like superhero mottos? Or se Let us know in the comments. What I am favorite? Iron Man. There you go. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite superhero's motto. I know, otherwise I would say that instead. I but am Iron Man. There you go. I like that you are. You are. But I in the am meantime, Iron Man. <laughs> In the meantime, see you real soon. See you real soon, guys.